everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed all made systems to help you win big every single time. Again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on. We have everything for you right here. Before we get into some baseball games for June the 6th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section here, which has all the tools you'll need to help you make your picks. So we are a third of the way through the Major League Baseball season, and the division races are really starting to heat up. There's a lot of great games for you for Sunday. We will take a look at five of them. So we will get started. See what we have on tap here. Scroll down through. Indians, Orioles. Marlins, Pirates. The first game we will look at here, as we scroll down through this, you see a full slate of games. Los Angeles Dodgers and the Atlanta Braves. The Dodgers are two games out in the National League West, and the Braves are three and a half games out in the National League East. Both teams are ice cold up at the moment. You can see that the Dodgers are right here. They won their last game, won two out of their last three, and two and four over their last six. You see here the Braves won their last game, and they are also two and four over their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that both teams are on a downward trend, only at plus five at the moment, a surprise for two teams that are expected to do very well this year, but there's still a ways to go. Trevor Bauer is scheduled to pitch for the Dodgers, and Max Fried is set to start for the Braves. Bauer is 6-3 and three with a 2.24 ERA, as opposed to Fried, who is 2-3 and three with a 5.35 ERA. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you will see that... Freed has been a very good bet at plus $1,833. Surprisingly, Bauer, as good of a pitcher as he is, has never been a really good bet at all, and he is at minus $676, so take that into consideration. If you look at the scores predictor, you will see that they have the Braves by a slim 6-5 margin, with a confidence in prediction at 62%. If you look at the totals predictor, and we'll consider the over and under, you see that the Dodgers are trending in games over the line, the Braves are trending in games under the line, so it's best to avoid the over under in that scenario. As far as who I think the winner of the game is going to be, I think that the Braves will take care of business at home and come away with the win. The Diamondbacks and Brewers, Tigers, White Sox, you don't have to take a look at all these games. Twins and Royals, that actually should be a pretty good game. Rays and Cardinals. And here's the next one we want to look at, the Rays and the Rangers. The Rays are 7-3 over the last 10 games and are on top of the American League East. The Rangers are struggling, sitting at the bottom of the American League West. Tampa Bay, although on a downward trend, still has a commanding plus 16-0 advantage on the power ranking indicator. They are average up at the moment versus dead for the Rangers. If you look at the uh, wins and losses over the last six, you can see that the Rays broke a two-game losing streak, winning one out of three, or actually two out of four against the Yankees, winning the last one. They were four and two over the last uh, six. And the Rangers, you see, have lost their last six and are going nowhere fast. On the mound for the Rays is Tyler Glasnow. He is four and two of the 2.69 ERA. And scheduled to pitch for the Rangers will be Dane Dunning. He is 2-4 of the 4.67 ERA. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see that at minus $304, Dunning has not been a solid bet at all. But Glasnow has been pretty solid and profitable at plus $311. If you're considering the over and under in this game, you can see that the Rays are playing in games trending over the line. The Rangers are playing in games trending well under the line. But if you look at the scores predictor, you'll see you have the Rays by a huge 11-1 to edge with a confidence prediction of 60%. The 12 total runs should uh, represent an over. The line is not yet set, but I think it's going to be a blowout game in favor of the Rays, and I actually would go with the over as well. A's and Rockies, we're not looking at that one. Cubs and Giants. Here's another one we can take a look at. This is going to be a good battle. The Cubs come in um, in first place in the National League Central, and the Giants are also in first place in the National League West. You can see that the Cubs are average at the moment and burning hot. 
for the Giants. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Cubs are at plus 25, and the Giants have dropped from plus 26 down to plus 15. If you look at the totals predictor for considering the over and under, you can see right here, under the line for the Cubs recently, and actually as far back as, you know, May the 14th, they've been under the line. And the Giants right now are trending slightly over the line. If we're looking at the uh, scores predictor, we see here that we have the Cubs losing to the Giants by 63 margin. But look at the confidence in prediction, only 40%, less than the toss of a coin. So take a look back closer to the game to see if that has changed. And also take a look back closer to the game for the actual line. On the mound for the Cubs is Kyle Hendricks. And on the mound for the Giants is going to be Johnny Cueto. If you see the two pitchers here, Hendricks is 6-4 and four with a 4.62 ERA. And Cueto is 4-1 and one with a 3.45 ERA. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you will notice. Right here. There we go. You will notice that Cueto is a very, very good bet at plus $997, but Hendricks has also been a good bet at plus $283. The way I think the outcome of this game is going to plan out is I think that the Giants playing at home, Cueto has been pitching very well, and the Giants at home are tough. I think the Giants will come away with the win on this one, covering the line. Mariners and Angels. Mets and Padres. Here's another one which is going to be, should be a good matchup. The Mets here are average at the moment, and the Padres are ice cold up. You can see in the power rankings indicator that the Mets have a plus 23 to plus 3 edge. As far as the standings go, the Mets are on top in the National League East, and the Padres are second in the National League West. You can see the Mets here have won four out of their last six games, and the Padres are two and four four over their last six games. If you're considering the over and under, here's an over for the Mets. They're up and down as far as their over and under goes, as far as the trends, but right now they are trending the game over the line, and the Padres currently are trending over, and they've been trending over since all the way back to, you know, like uh, middle of May here, May 16th, so they've been trending over the line. The scores predictor shows a low-scoring game, though. The Mets 3, the Padres 2, with a fairly High confidence in prediction of 63%. On the mound is Stroman for the Mets and Paddock for the Padres. You can see the pitchers right there. So what I think is going to happen here is I actually think the Mets will be able to come away with the win on the road. If both teams are playing well, but the Mets have better pitching in this one. Let's go with the Mets. Finally, we got the Red Sox and the Yankees. The Red Sox enter in second place in the American League East, and the Yankees are in third. The Yankees have an edge on the power ranking indicator. You see here at plus 18 compared to plus 8. Over the last six games, you can see that the the Red Sox are two and or actually three and three over the last six, and the Yankees are two and four. Garrett Richards is scheduled to pitch for the Red Sox versus Domingo German for the Yankees. Richards is 4 and 4 with a 3.75 ERA and German is 4 and 3 with a 3.27 ERA for the Yankees. Look at the pitcher profit oscillator, which pitcher has been the better bet? You can see that German has been the, the better bet as far as that profit goes at plus $970 and Richards here is also in the positive, just not as high at plus $287. Considering the over and under in this game, you can see that the Red Sox are playing in games trending well under the line. The Yankees are well under the line as well. And if you look at the scores predictor of a 4-1 to score in favor of Boston with confidence and prediction of 57%, also a fairly good indication that this will be a low-scoring game. I would bet the under on this one and go with the, the Red Sox to win in a road upset. So there you have it. Those are all the games that we're going to take a look at for this week. Happy betting. And we will see you next time.